How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we're going to be continuing on the voyage of making my go-kart into a, the first ever go-kart in the world with an active aero wing. Now in the last video I introduced this idea of putting an active aero wing on the go-kart and as well as uh, we started designing it and getting all the measurements for the wing structure. Now the next video, which is this video, is gonna be us going to get the metal from the hardware store, all the parts, and actually making this thing. So Matt's here, we're gonna go off to the hardware store and get some of this raw materials to go ahead and get started. So we're getting the pulley for the, the cable system. Is that one smaller? Oh, that's like a dual yeah, it's pulley. Two of them. But this is just Oh yeah. See, I need something that has like a mounting so you can mount with these holes here. This is where I also got all the bearings for the go-kart. Look at those things, they're huge. Yeah, it's probably the smallest one I have. Well, I mean, this is smaller, but it doesn't have your mounting. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's go. Let's go get the tubing. All right. Mature, right here. So here's all the raw metal. This is a store where I came to get a lot of the stuff for the go-kart itself. So we need two sections of one and a quarter inch tubing. So. Did you bring your little tape measure? You want to tell them the problem that we're facing? Well, they didn't have one and a quarter inch flat ball. stop. <laughs> So we had to get one and a half inch flat sock instead, but sorry, we'll compromise. So now after we got the flat sock, uh, I'm gonna get these tabs. So these tabs will basically, ideally I'd like to get these, but these are like 11 bucks each, which is crazy. So like the wing will mount in between here and then this one will allow it to pivot. That's like way too much. So I think just getting a single tab will be plenty. And we mount this on the top of the tubing, like this, and then the wing will mount to these and then pivot. Well, these will be static, but the wing will pivot in these. So. Narwhal, narwhal, swimming in the ocean, causing a commotion because they are so awesome. Come on. <laughs> play a game of like jousting right now. <laughs> so we're gonna cut the first pieces of the flat stock to mount to the engine and then we'll drill the holes in so we can actually mount it and uh, start welding stuff after that. And here we go. Second piece, here we go. Gotta get some for the Instagram stories. If you don't follow me on Instagram, at Nat underscore automotive underscore photography. We'll put that right on the screen, just like all the other YouTubers do. Right there. And then mine will be right there. <laughs> we'll see if that actually makes the video. <laughs> Always plug, right? Okay, second piece cut. You want to tell them where we're at? 
All right, so we're drilling holes through the bottom mount pieces, so the pieces that I was talking about earlier that are going to mount underneath the bearings. So I got one drilled up on here and it's all mounted. So uh, the next phase is to cut the tubing and uh, weld that onto that, that section. So we're just uh, finishing up cutting the holes on the last one, or drilling the holes. Come we're doing. All right, so we got both pieces cut. We got both holes drilled. They line up good, and we cut the a middle section here. So now this piece flushes in between, or it uh, sits flush in between. Flushes like a toilet. Um, and so we're gonna weld this in now. Um, and this is just to kind of give a little bit of extra bracing. And then after this, um, we'll go go ahead and cut all the rest of the pieces to uh, make the structure for this, the wing mount, so it's going good. All right, so we have all the pieces cut, at least for the first part of the structure. So we got all the 45s cut, uh, grinded, uh, ground down all the burrs off them. So now we're gonna go ahead and weld in that crossbar and then I'll grind the welds down on that and then uh, weld in the all these pieces on top. Welding on this back piece now. Second welds look a lot better than the first uh, tack welds do, so that's good. Gonna do a quick grind down with some of that slag and get to actually putting the regular pieces on here. Okay, so we ran out of welding wire, so we had to take a quick trip to Home Depot to get some extra welding wire, and then um, also got some lunch. So after we got back here, I just welded on this extra 45 angle piece. So we had this piece welded on, and then I ran out, so we had to, and then I welded this piece on after we got more wire. And then I just tack welded on this flat section. So basically what I'm doing is I'm connecting this flat section between the two to make sure that it's level, so that when I put the two vertical pieces like this that they're going to be straight up and down as best as I can. I use the welding magnets um, to try and make sure that they're as vertical as possible so that they don't warp, but it might happen. building the uprights to the um, to the spoiler mount so we've got these two uprights mounted in and so now what we're doing is we're building some cross bracing to go in between 
So continuing on with the triangular angled look with the frame, I'm gonna do probably two triangular pieces that go like this and then meet like that. So uh, what I'm gonna do is just basically cut some tubing and then weld them together and then see how, uh, how I need to cut it to match the width this way. All right guys, another update here. Uh, so I was having some issues making these V pieces meet at the center point and have them line up and then line up with the edges. So what I did was instead I just put a crossbar across and then had them meet kind of together um, as like some bracing to kind of give it that V look like a lot of the rest of the go-kart has. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing. I've been working on that, welding all those pieces in, cutting them. Um, so now what I'm doing is putting a final piece of one inch flat stock to connect the top here. And then I'll be attaching my tabs um, to be used to help mount the wing and have it pivot on the on those tabs. So that's what I'll be working on next. It's kind of crazy. I haven't had a workshop day like this in a long time. Like there's tools everywhere. There's you know dust from the cutting wheels and welding slag everywhere. So it's kind of nice to get behind the uh, tools and get some good old fabrication and smell that hot metal. So. It's been, it's been a fun day so far, so but I'm excited to try and get this thing closer to being done. So my goal is, is to finish the structure for the wing, but for the wing itself, that'll be another video for another day because that's just a little extra work. And I got to put some R&D work in and figuring out actually how I want to build that wing. All right, guys. So I've been hard at work uh, trying to get these last few parts put on. So the most recent thing was that since the last time I put this cross beam of flat stock on the top and then I put the tabs on, um, they're perfect. They're nice and straight. Uh, so those are the tabs that the wing will mount to and pivot on. Now the last thing I'm trying to do before I do some finishing welds and I'm actually going to take this thing off and then do some of the finishing welds because I couldn't get underneath it. It's, it's really awkward to weld upside down and you get welding spot all over your face and it doesn't feel very good. So without um, doing that, the last thing I'm going to do here before I take it off is I'm trying to mount up where I want to put the pulley for the cable um, and then once I put the pulley in uh, I'm gonna weld that on I just need to test fit make sure the, the the cable once it goes down and underneath the pulley will clear the axle and make it to the master cylinder lever there so that's what I'm gonna be doing now before I weld that on and then take it off to do all the finishing welds so I'm just gonna be using some of this uh, pink cord here that I used for setting the Ackerman angle actually so just gonna feed it through here go underneath the pulley so how this is gonna work basically is when the there's gonna be a lever attached to the wing up here and then when you pull the brake it'll pull this forward and then pull the wing down on the pulley so I just want to make sure this when it's in a straight line it'll clear the axle and it looks like we're good see if I can pull the camera out and uh, and show you guys a little bit more up close here so I can tie this up and then, but that was my biggest concern was just making sure that the um, the uh, cord here is gonna clear the axle because I don't want any interference with that that would be a big no-no so you can see you got the cable fed through tied it up there just a little bit so when we're at full taut which is what it'll at be most of the time at that position, we've got plenty of clearance over top of the axle. So then the cable will attach right here and then when you hit the brake, it'll pull this forward and then pull the wing down. So we have our makeshift active arrow wing. Alright guys, so I finished up the final parts to the the uh, mount here. So I, like I said earlier, I was going to take it off the go-kart, so I took it off and uh, I finished up the welds on the, uh, the mount for the pulley. 
and then I went ahead and did all the welds um, that I couldn't get to earlier when it was mounted because it was too close to the engine and I didn't have a good position and also I went in and um, welded all the ones that I couldn't get when because uh, it was upside down so try to avoid welding upside down so that's all finished um, that's pretty much gonna wrap up this big first day of fabrication for the uh, active arrow uh, wing mount for the go-kart here so I have a big mess to clean up now lots of dust everywhere from the grinder blades all sorts of metal shards from the, the drills and everything so I have got a lot of cleanup to do and some organization. I'm, I like being organized and if I have one big tip for anyone who wants to start a workshop area in their house or what, stay organized, keep your tools organized, it makes things so much better in the long run and makes things a lot less frustrating when you have to go and try and find parts um, and tools. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed some of the footage of getting some good old metal fabrication in on the go-kart again. I, I couldn't tell you how awesome it felt to like get behind the the welding gun and all the you know tools and make something again for the go-kart rather than just fix little things. So this is a cool thing that I think will add a lot of pizzazz and who knows, maybe some performance to the go-kart as well. So. Uh, it was, it was fun. So the next video is going to entail um, me actually making the wing for this and I've got to do some research and figure out what type of materials I want to use like because i got to be able to bend the sheet metal or maybe even if I just buy a wing. Um, and so and then I modify that wing that I buy. And then I've got to do all the cabling and the lever system to actually make it tilt um, and maybe even have some stoppers so it doesn't like fall all the way back or something like that. So there's a lot of stuff to do left with the wing system here for the go-kart. And uh, also thank you all so much for um, all of your feedback on the torque converter uh, or the engine problems video. I can't tell you how much I appreciate all the comments and tips I got. That's why I love YouTube, that's why I love having us, you know, an audience where I can pitch questions and show you guys my stuff and learn from you guys and you guys can learn from me too. So it's all around an awesome experience. So thanks again guys for participating in that. It really helped out. I'm going to be diving into that issue more and maybe I'll make a video on that as well. So thank you all very much for watching today's video. If you haven't already, definitely subscribe for more content on the channel around the go-kart and just cars in general, my car enthusiast based lifestyle here in San Diego, California. So thanks again guys. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer them for you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I, I, I,